The Holland Museum's newest exhibit shares the story of one historic community right here in West Michigan that many have never even heard of. One man who helped with the exhibit is a descendant of one of the first families to become landowners in the area known as a Black Eden. I love Idlewild. I love history. I love American history. I love world history. I love black history and Idlewild was all of those things. Founded in 1912 in Lake County. It comes out of a, a place of pain and struggle for our nation, right? It comes directly out of Jim Crow 1912. A time when people of color were forced to use separate and oftentimes lower quality amenities like water fountains and restrooms. At times shut out completely from living in white neighborhoods or even visiting popular resorts. Out of that came a necessity for people of color, specifically black people who could not go to the resorts in the Catskills or uh, the boardwalk in, in Jersey or Vegas. We had to create a space for people who were not welcome. It was and still is a haven for African Americans and it was a place for people to feel safe, to feel included, to feel welcome. They could own property there, they could entertain and stay there and so some A-list entertainers that could perform in white communities but couldn't stay in those communities. This is very different. This was an incredibly different experience for them. Celebrities like W.E.B. Du Bois, Madam C.J. Walker, Duke Ellington, Etta James, and Jackie Wilson are said to have stayed at Idlewild, a resort town drawing in visitors even today. What they say they find in Idlewild today is rest, rejuvenation, relaxation. They get to water ski, they get to swim at the beach. And can I tell you, if you have not been in Idlewild, in the evening time when the stars are shining bright, I'm not sure if you've actually ever seen the sky. It's that essence that made Idlewild great in 1912 and makes it still great today. A lot of people that I know from this area never heard about Idlewild until very recently. I've heard a number of African Americans say, I've never heard of Idlewild. Literally, it's close as Lansing. The Holland Museum now helping to showcase the remarkable journey of this little known gem. That information is our history. And we have to we have to keep it, we have to promote it, and we have to learn from it. CJ shared with me an African proverb which says when an elder dies, a library is burned to the ground, encouraging all of us to learn and record the stories of our elders. The Idlewild exhibit will be on display at the Holland Museum through October.